great question I love everyone's feedback on is, how will the classroom of the future encourage connection? What's now happening is that there's multiple screens for the professor to show multiple images simultaneously, and then there are two blank screens so that if you're in the audience and you've just Googled something about the subject at which he's being instructing you on, you can then send it up to that screen as your statement of, okay, here's my right. input on this subject. So much more interactive. So there's <laughs> a, a and right. I would imagine, as mm -hmm. you're suggesting, it's going to grow beyond the mm -hmm. person who's outside the classroom yeah. as a participant. And I think, I think that's, that's happening. I mean, yeah. we're, um, I can speak from, from our school standpoint, there's an absolute shift to um, bring in these online resources into the classroom and make that part of the platform for the learning. What else do you think is changing other than technology? Because there's a ton of technology here. Do you see the size of the rooms changing, the furniture changing? Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. Yes, and yes, oh, yeah. yes. We were seeing the need for bigger spaces, for more flexible type of projects where it could be both digital and cutting giant sheets of cardboard and anything in between, and so much bigger surfaces. And also, that way people can be more communal. I think the separation does not foster more of a discussion, open exchange of ideas. And, and having those environments that will foster that more casual, spontaneous interaction and socialization. And We also find all four walls are being used mm -hmm. and multimedia mm -hmm. is on yes. those four walls. Mm -hmm. uh, the walls become writing surfaces mm -hmm. from bottom to top with mm -hmm. idea paint or you know whatever surfaces are put in place to accommodate that. That kind of environment where you can just put together anything anywhere or just mm -hmm. spontaneously just draw some, I mean drawing on walls, what's more childlike and creative than that. Also I think maybe some more public spaces where anyone can pass through and see not just final projects but projects in, in progress. So it's not just the classroom where it's private and you can only go in there if you're registered for the class but to take the work out. How can you bring people together in a closer, more intimate, more fun, inspiring way? I think we're just more and more moving away from this concept of the traditional classroom. Um, I think across the board, I think you're seeing it early on in elementary schools up through higher education and really providing environments that are much more collaborative and flexible and allowing a little bit more interaction depending on what is happening. And I think it is the space itself too. I was working on a project for U of I Champaign-Urbana. Not only do they still need those labs, but they also want these type of collaborative spaces where the furniture is promoting conversation and working on projects collectively. It's not about compartmentalizing one discipline, but that you can learn a lot more from each other and that everything applies to each other and getting the expertise from different people will make the end result much richer. And so we are attempting to foster those collaborations and also take it outside of the classroom as well. So partnering up with nonprofits or with professionals so that the, the cross connection is also between student and professional. Whose responsibility is it to lead the classroom of the future? There isn't one person to lead. I think the responsibility is the, in the collaboration. It's our responsibility to, to maintain a connection to the professional world and understand what's going on there, to connect the students to the professional world, to keep ourselves active in the professional world so it's not just this is what I do and then I go home and that's it. Just within the um, academic community, there's just been more of an intention um, to get the educators together of different disciplines and have those conversations about what's happening in the different disciplines and where is their crossover and how can we learn from each other to help enhance each other's programs and educate more effectively. We've just started to embark on uh, incorporating a researcher uh, supported by a major manufacturer on the learning environment and we're going to take our new school, it's an early childhood learning center, and test what's a better outcome for these students. To maintain relevance during these periods of time, one has to work really hard at it. You've got to make a definitive you know, statement to yourself, I'm going to stay current. It is about envisioning the future and, and being inspired by it. Young people coming into the future, mm -hmm. challenged by it. It is going to be different, but it can be incredibly rewarding for everybody as well.